Operation Trigger 5 um, concluded in Latin America last week. Uh, all the participating countries are, are thrilled by the results. On this occasion, uh, police, customs, immigration officials were all involved in trying to detect illicit firearms being trafficked across Latin America. The results show a couple of interesting things. First of all, that increased cooperation and intelligence sharing across Latin America has led to really effective outcomes. The other interesting thing we saw was firearms were being detected and military assault rifles, AK-47s, not only were they detected, but we were able to use the Interpol databases to trace these back to source countries in the Middle East. We saw links to organised crime revealed throughout this operation. Not only were those links exposed through the search, seizure and the arrests, but significant organised crime entities were detected at borders and were able to be arrested. This included people travelling between Guatemala and Honduras and already those extraditions have taken place back to their home countries. Over 42,000 checks were carried out at borders and integrated hotspots where intelligence led the teams. In that time, 125,000 new records were added to the IARMS database by the teams involved in the operation. That's a significant achievement because that information is going to be accessible by other police officers all over the world in terms of pursuing illicit firearms. One of the notable arrests that occurred during the operation was an arms trafficking kingpin who was suspected of supplying arms to the ELN terror group in Colombia. So this is a really significant outcome, not only for law enforcement in Colombia, but for law enforcement throughout the region. In addition, there were 47 arrests in El Salvador. 18 of the people identified were directly connected to the organised crime groups Barrio 18 and MS 13, which as we know have tentacles not only throughout the region, but increasingly internationally.